what a what a day what happens is i have seen a lot of debate over the internet and other social media platforms about ninja 5 and log signals and a possible mismatch when you monitor with tools provided by this otherwise good recorder we don't have too many options on the market so in, in these videos i just want to demystify a uh, few of the problems that some people uh, encounter using this device with any mirrorless camera or dslr that is obviously supported what happens is you have to understand uh, two <coughs> important things one is this recorder records usually at the video level this is something that cannot be changed this is what it is you cannot change that uh, there is a difference between full levels and video levels full levels in 10 bits are between 0 and 128 while a legal range would be between 16 and 1940 and this is the exact level that you're going to monitor and you're going to uh, record your images so as you can see there is a mismatch second thing that you have to understand and it's also very important is what non-linear editor are you actually going to use to post-process your, fo your files because for example the most common will be Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro those non-linear editor accepts ultimately only a legal range video while DaVinci uh, accepts a full range and video as well there are other non-linear editors but they are maybe niche more like and I don't have any experience with them so I'm not going to uh, talk about them in, in this video so what happens is the moment you are using a camera that is supported with Atomos Ninja 5 and that camera is set to a gamma curve that is naturally uh, acquiring images in legal range like Rec 709, Cine Gamma, Hyper Gamma, S Cineton everything is perfect because you are feeding a legal range the Atomos Ninja records in legal range and there is absolutely no mismatch in, uh, in monitoring or in recording what you see is what you get and every non-linear editor will uh, process those files correctly it's, it's simply plug and play and this is beautiful and probably because of that Atomos Ninja probably it took them around three four years until they implemented the legalized function because believe it or not a lot of productions are still shot in Rec 709 1080 so not everybody should log uh, 4k for cinema or whatever because here for example in this part of the world cinema is not even that well represented and a lot of videographers and social media platform ultimately they don't accept more than rec 709 so why even bother anyway the problem is when you're going to wish to shoot log and you want to monitor a log signal and you want to record this is when you're going to have a problem because a log uh, gamma curve like sony log or canon or any other uh, manufacturer will uh, feed you a full signal but the ninja will cut off the signal and it will change it into legal range and obviously there will be a mismatch initially people simply noticed that the images were too contrasty now in the Vinci resolve it's very easy you go into the uh, clip attributes and you change the levels to full and everything comes back to normal provided obviously you have recorded with the uh, Atomos Ninja if you record in camera you don't need to, to make this change everything will be interpreted correctly so I'm talking about when you're going to record with the Atomos Ninja okay so as you can see if we refer to the camera uh, I'm shooting in uh, S log 3 and uh, I have the LUT turned off okay the LUT is off and if you refer to the Atomos Ninja 5 all the options are uh, turned off as well I'm not using legalizing I'm not using any of these uh, uh, options at all now what happens is I'm feeding a full signal and the Atomos Ninja will cut it off and it will turn it into a legal signal now obviously you get an image on the screen but it is much more contrasty compared to what I'm seeing on the uh, Sony 
monitor, for example, and if I'm going to use the false colors, sure, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a result, but it's not the one that is correctly because of the mismatch of the levels. So in order to, to rectify this problem, there are two options. The first option is to go into the uh, Atomos Ninja menu here and to turn the legalized function on. The moment you do this, obviously now you're going to feed a, a lock signal, but that lock signal will be legalized so now the levels are interpreted correctly. For example, if I'm turning the uh, false colors on, as you can see, I have on my face a variety of, of tones uh, merging from 44 up to, four, up to 54, which is exactly what, uh, how would somebody uh, would expose uh, Caucasian skin tones using S-log uh, gamma curve. As you can see, the, the background is somewhere around 93 because S log gamma curve cannot go higher than that. And if I'm simply going to change the base ISO to 2500, so I'm trying to overexpose the image, this is also correct because as you can see, S log gamma 3 cannot be exposed hotter than 93 IRE, so you're never going to get those red colors on the overexposed areas because this is not what S log is doing. S log stops at 93 I, IRE. So I'm going I'm going back now to the uh, base ISO. So this is absolutely correct now. All the levels are are uh, correctly represented if you turn the legalized function on and you turn off the LUTs in camera like I showed you. You just have to remember that if you're going to work with DaVinci Resolve before recording with Atomos Ninja, you have to turn the legalized function off and then you're going to uh, record the file. Again, the image will look wrong, but you're going to take that clip into uh, DaVinci and you're going to cl right click, uh, select click attributes and uh, choose full range and everything will be uh, back to normal. If you are an Adobe or a Final Cut Pro user, you're going to leave the legalized function on and you're going to record like this uh, because Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, they uh, uh, accept only uh, legal range video as well. So everything here is nice and dandy as well. Now, another way of doing things is you turn the legalized function off and you go back to your Sony camera and you turn the LUT on. Okay, what will happen now, this LUT will transform the log, which is full signal, into Rec 709, which is legal signal. And again, you're going to have as well a correct match. You're going to feed a legal signal into a legal recorder. So everything is perfect now. Obviously, the levels will be this time correct for Rec 709, not for S-Log. If I'm going to the second base ISO, as you can see now, I have tint of orange because the signal go above uh, 93. Obviously, in Rec 709 can go up to 109. But in the skin tones are also mapped differently. As you can see, I have shades of pink, which are represented to uh, somewhere between 55 and 58 IRE and my skin tones are also going up to 77 IRE which is also correct for Rec 709. So you just have to uh, bear in mind this change. Now unfortunately if you're going to record with the Atomos Ninja in this fashion which is correct uh, when you appreciate the exposure the problem is the LUT the S709 LUT will get embedded into the file and because of that you have to remember after you took those uh, the levels of exposure you have to remember to go back into the menu turn the LUT off and then record uh, with your Atomos Ninja and then once again you go into clip attributes 
and uh, you select full range. Uh, unfortunately, if you are using Adobe or Final Cut Pro, in this fashion you have to use first a lot that will convert uh, the uh, full range into legal range. So yeah, it's not pleasant at all. But I thought this is very important and uh, now I think it, it makes a lot of sense how to use it and it's very straightforward. Now again, if you're a Fuji camera user and you use one of their filmic profile like Eterna and so on and so forth, those are also Rec. 709 gamma curves, but for some reason they are uh, having a full range. So this is again when it is the only time when you have to use the legalized function even if the gamma curve is actually a Rec. 709 gamma curve. It's just something that you have to uh, bear in mind. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this recorder is far from being ideal. Uh, we don't have too many options on the market. It's just to bear in mind that you have to decide beforehand basically what NLE are you going to use in post-processing because some of them accept only a legal range. The other one, like Da Vinci, accepts a full range as well. And you have to remember that you have to, to have a perfect match between what you are sending from the camera and what the Atomos Ninja receives before you can monitor correctly the log signal. For X709 uh, gamma curves, you don't have this problem. So happy shooting and see you next time.